these guys are very interested. This is the guy that shot that video. I think he saw me on the road from Jacques. And now I'm gonna make my way to the Chinese border and try to get into China. Because it's like two miles in that direction. Let's do this. So, all these people want to see me ride. <laughs> now it's recording now? Okay. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Oh, so cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> uh, Shay Shay, yeah? Is that right? Uh, Shay Shay? Shay Shay, okay. Okay, so I'm in China and there's a lot of people here. All very interested in my in my unicycle. But I made it, I'm in China. There's a Chinese sign for you. I've got no idea which way to go. Absolutely none. It's so strange to be somewhere so different. Wow, I'm in China. And the first thing I'm noticing is the really big buildings. The second thing I notice is the amazing roads. Look at these roads, man. So smooth. And I've got like a whole lane to myself. I think I'm gonna like it here. I think I'm gonna like it here very, very much. Woo! Yeah, I've got no idea if I'm going the right way. I'm just, just look at that. Wow. I'm just enjoying looking at all the new things. Oh! I don't know which way to go. G30, G30. But the G30's in the middle. Okay, okay, we, we got them. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Ed. Don't get hit by a car this early on. Hello. I feel that maybe I shouldn't be here, but uh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't be here. There's like a perfectly good road over there. I think I need to find a way off this road as soon as I can, because I don't want to get stopped by the police. Um, hello, do you, sp do you speak English? Do you speak English? No, no, English, yeah? English. Um, a bicycle is okay? Uh, bicycle here or bicycle there? No, you're not gonna help me. Okay, I'm gonna speak to this guy. I'm gonna speak to this guy. Um. I'm on the better road now. Um. Hi, <laughs> this is Jack. He's gonna ride with me for a bit. I just met him. <laughs> he said he's very lucky. I'm not sure how much this is picking up with the wind. Uh, but yeah, he's told me that this road is better to cycle on. How's it going, Jack? Uh, very nice. <laughs> very nice. So, Jack's just helped me get some money, and now we're looking to find some kind of cafe to have some dinner. Here? Yeah? Perfect. Yes. Big one, yeah? <laughs> I've got no idea. Shish it. <laughs> wow, look at this. So what, what do you call this? What do you call this this dish? Bamia. Bamia. Lapsha. Lapsha. It is noodles. Okay. Sure. How do you do the noodles? I've left Jack now. What a great guy. The first person I meet in China, pretty much. What a great guy. He, he bought me dinner at that uh, little cafe. We had really spicy noodles. And I struggled with the, uh, the chopsticks. But I'm gonna keep, keep working on that. 
check these guys out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where do you come from? China. Very good. <laughs> Uh, so I've decided to call it a day. I ended up kind of half riding into a city, um, a city which just wasn't on my map. You know, like these massive great skyscrapers, or oh, not skyscrapers, but like apartment blocks over there. And they didn't, they weren't even on the map. So it's amazing just how quickly stuff gets developed here. Um, so I ended up having to go and turn off this direction. And I think I might have found somewhere, or at least somewhere around here, there's got to be somewhere I can camp. Um, but yeah. Good day, just need to, uh, to find something. Yeah, I think this is going to be a big problem in China, finding somewhere without people. Because <laughs> there's a lot of people here. I'm a little bit stunned. Uh, I just uh, walked down this track, and then these people, you know, well, first of all, they have this little dog which tried to bite me. Um, and then I kind of told them I was trying to find somewhere to put my tent, and they suggested I come here which I think is a building they own that they're kind of renovating maybe. It looks like the walls are kind of half painted and stuff is kind of half done, but I can just leave it for the night, which is amazing. <laughs> so there we are. That's tonight. That's China. That's end of day one. Uh, we've got 89 to go before we need to get out of the country. Um, yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so here's the deal. I'm on the G30 now. Uh, the little road that ran parallel has now joined this one. And there's a tunnel this way. So I've got my luminous jacket on again. I'm gonna go through the tunnel. Okay, I'm gonna put this camera away now. But we're just about coming up to the tunnel. Oh, and it's tiny. <laughs> it's tiny. Okay, look at that. <laughs> I thought it was bigger than that. Okay, we're okay. All right then. Hey up, me again. So on this trip, I've frequently been asked, Ed, unicycling around the world is great and all, but are you doing it for a particular cause? It's funny, you should ask that Santa Hat guy. Yes, I am. I'm raising funds and awareness for the charity School on the Back. The team, based in Somerset, England, manufacture, fill, and distribute little red rucksacks and send them all over the world to children in dire need of learning resources. Every single red rucksack sent out contains exercise books, lines squared and plain, pencils, coloring pencils, pens and a pencil case, a ruler, a math set, a water bottle, a bowl, a plate, and my favourite, a little red spork. The cost to manufacture, fill, and deliver one school bag to one child is only £20. So if you can spare the money and would like to support this amazing initiative, please head over to my charity donation page, uk.virginmoneygiving.com slash worldunicycletour. The link is in the description. If you enjoy my videos and want to be notified every time I upload a new one, hit that little red subscribe button and if you could share this video, it'll help me reach a larger audience to share this message. Cheers, and I'll see you next week for the next installment of Ed Unicycles China. Oh yeah! Oh, dude.